the most enjoyable aspects of school, other than socialising, is often the projects that students do. And it will be these that many students will remember most in the years to come. But projects, most projects, are little more than extended worksheets. Recipes that students work through, all the same, and very teacher-directed. I still recall fondly the tidy trays we made in Year 5, the bookcase that we attempted to make in Year 7, the pizzas in Year 8, that we made them all the same, dutifully following our teachers' directions and becoming extremely well prepared for the factories of the 19th century. But the world has moved on, and we need to prepare our students with very different skills. Inquiry-based learning through science, problem-based learning through mathematics, and in digital technologies, project-based learning, solving problems, and doing so through projects. But there are projects, and there are projects. Following a worksheet or instruction guide to make a robot, or a web-based step-by-step programming tutorial, will solve a problem, a problem set by the teacher, the instructional guide writer, or the tutorial writer, to produce a solution that they already know and simply want students to replicate. This I describe as EPBL, where the motivation is extrinsic, external to the student. They will do so to get the grades they wish, or to avoid getting in trouble. But there is little more incentive. But there is another approach to project-based learning, in which the focus is on intrinsic motivation, what I will refer to as IPBL. IPBL permits students to choose how they go about problem solving, coming up with different solutions to their peers. And IPBL can also give students the choice of the problem they solve and thus have not only different solutions, but solutions to different problems than their peers. But this takes skill, not only for the teacher in the classroom, with management and differentiation, but for students in PBL. So there'll be a progression from EBBL to IPBL. And as students progress in grades through the digital technologies curriculum, this is certainly not to say that or to restrict teachers in the younger grades from using IPBL. But EPBL should always be aimed at developing student capacity to work at IPBL projects. And the curriculum contains this progression. From F to 2, students should be learning how to plan, with teacher support, simple steps and follow directions to complete their own projects or manage their own roles within team projects. In three to six, increasing responsibility for specific roles within a project with increasing levels of collaboration and teamwork. By seven and eight, they should be managing projects, though still with the support from their peers and teachers. But by nine and 10, they should be fully managing projects, managing projects and their teams, using digital tools to support their project management and to coordinate their teams, and to collaborate with others locally and globally. So we see a shift from teacher to student project management. And this changes the role of the teacher in the classroom. Is uh, We've had zero talk and talk for the last five weeks. We've um, been role of facilitator. We've Logistics managers. Yes. <laughs> events coordinators, um, so our role really has just been facilitating. So in digital technologies, we also need to develop student understanding of how ICT can be used in solving problems. An example is with timelines for planning and, project and managing projects, moving from paper to digital timelines, highlighting the advantages of digitising this task, and being able to easily change it, to share it, to save it and send it to others through to working collaboratively with teams amongst their own peers, but also around the globe. There are many ICT availables. Within EQ schools, there's a timeline tool, Time Toast is a recommended tool, and you have MS Excel, which has many timeline templates. But there's also powerful software such as MS Project and many other online tools. 
You will now create and share your own timeline, showing how you have used PBL, and look at the examples shared by others. How many are teacher-directed EPBL, and how many are IPBL? For this module is very much about showing you the power of IPBL in digital technology.